The Honourable Member for Laxane and Parkland. Mr. Speaker, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the past few weeks, Albertans have been shocked by the virtual anarchy across the country. A small group of radicals have felt entitled to hold our economy hostage through illegal blockades and protests. These protests have been disregarded the rule of law, jeopardized public safety, and thrown our, our economy into chaos. It's hard to believe when viewing the images of the blockades in eastern Canada, mass protesters attempting to derail a freight train. Another train driving through flames after the blockaders set the tracks on fire. This has been Canada's image into the world for the last month. The illegal protests have already cost our energy sector thousands of jobs, billions in revenue due to postponed or cancelled projects. The risk of blockades bringing Canada, let alone Alberta, to a standstill, a standstill is very real, especially with pipeline constructions now taking place. Mr. Speaker, our government isn't willing to let that happen. Last week, the Premier introduced Bill 1, the Critical Infrastructure Defence Act. This common sense bill introduces penalties for participating in illegal protest with individual fines up to $25,000 and jail time up for six months. Each day they persist will be a new offence. Attacking our infrastructure that employs citizens, moves our goods, should be, is serious and should have serious consequences, Mr. Speaker. The party opposite has announced that they won't support this common sense bill. This comes as no surprise. Just look at their track record. Five of their sitting MLAs recently attended rallies organized by radical anti-energy protesters. The member of Lethbridge West co-authoring protest guides that encourages blockades. The member of Edmonton Highlands Norwood asking for Extinction Rebellion radicals to present in classrooms. Obviously, the members opposite will have to stand by while legal blockades try to shut down our economy. The government will keep standing up for hard-working Albertans and the rule of law. Actions have consequences, Mr. Speaker. No protester nor members opposite should be entitled to shut down our economy and put good people out of work through their illegal actions. And yes, Mr. Speaker, unlike the members opposite, we believe in the rule of law, as many Albertans do. Thank you. Yeah.